Welcome to this short little video on how to make your uh, Cisco router a DHCP server. Now, this could come in handy if you don't have any type of uh, operating system out there like a Microsoft box to uh, provide your clients with IP addresses. So instead, we can sit there and use our Cisco router to hand out IP addresses to our client. Now, some of the things we're going to need to do is we need to make sure we know our default gateway of our router. We'll need to know any DNS uh, at uh, DNS server addresses and we'll also need to know uh, or any addresses that we may need to exclude from this uh, pool of addresses that will be assigned out to our client. So first let's begin with configuring our router to support um, the uh, uh, DHCP services. Now one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to uh, define a pool name and then our pool name is configured by using the IP DHCP space pool and then a name. We're going to call this LANS A. Now, within here, I'm in the DHCP sub configuration mode. Now, I'm going to define my network for which the IP addresses will be uh, issued to. So, my IP addressing scheme is using the 192.168.1.0. And then uh, we'll put a subnet mask on that. We're going to use the default subnet mask, class C for it. Now, we'll want to define our default router. This is the same thing as saying our default gateway. So my default gateway is 192.168.1.1. Now, I also have a DNS server. So my DNS server is going to be uh, 192.168.1.240. Now, the next thing I got to do is I need to exclude the 240 and the uh, uh, 1.1 address from the pool. Because right now it's going to use all the addresses within this pool from 1 to 254. So from here I'm going to do this in the global configuration mode. So I'll exit out and I'll do DHCP, or excuse me, IP DHCP. And in here you can see I have a list of commands. I can sit there and look at conflicts, the database. As you can see there, I have an exclude in there. Uh, we've already, uh, I can do relay, I can do updates in there. So we're going to sit there and use the exclude. And I'm going to exclude IP address 192.168.1.1, which is my router interface. And I'm also going to exclude my DNS server, which is 240. Now, those two addresses will not be issued out to client. Now, what I want to do is I want to sit there and validate or verify that this is actually working. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my client here, and which has already got a st static IP address, and we'll just change it over to a DHCP and then we'll make sure it works. As you can see here, uh, we'll change everything over and we'll tell it to get an IP address via DHCP. Now, if everything is working properly here, we should see uh, we have uh, established connection. Now let's go in there and look at our addresses. As you can see, the DHCP server issued the address 192.168.1.50 with a subnet mask 255.255 and a default gateway. Now let's look at some of the details in there and see if it got our uh, DNS server. And sure enough, it does. So, not that hard is it to configure uh, your Cisco router as a DHCP server. Now, let me go back through and, and let's issue one show command to show our bindings to see which hosts are assigned to which IP address. So we'll do the show IP DHCP and let's see what I have in here. I have a binding command, so we'll just issue the binding. And now you can see here that my client with the MAC address of 1000.19b9.8764.0f was issued the IP address 192.168.1. You can see how long the lease duration is. As you can see here, it's good until March 8, which my time is off on my router, and then automatically assign. Uh, thank you for uh, viewing this video and hope to see you again in the future.